Welcome to LRC's kitchen. I am going to make a out of the box dish today and I suggest you try it out simply because it is out of the box. It is said that tomato is a fruit and it is knowledge to know that tomato is a fruit. But it is wisdom not to add tomato in fruit salad. But today I am going to take a fruit, a goa and make a chutney out of a goa. Now I, when you are making a goa chutney, prefer to take a reasonably raw goa. Take a raw goa, if you see it is so raw that the knife is finding it difficult to cut through. After you have cut it like this, cut them into pieces like this. and remove the seeds completely from the center. Completely. What I have done is I have taken a goa, did this entire exercise and grated one goa slightly bigger than this in size and this is the content of the goa grate that I have before me. The basic ingredients that I would be using for the goa chutney is the grated raw goa completely de-seeded, a little bit of tamarind or small lime sized tamarind soaked in water, 3 to 4 hari mirchi this depends on how spicy you want your end dish to be. Uh, I have used about 2 small bunches of kothmir or dhania and the usual stuff that you use for tadka, hing, kareeb leaves and red chilies. The process is going to be simple. I already have a tadka made of jeera, a little bit of mustard, chana dal and udad dal. What I am going to do is take in the grated goa into the mixi. I take about 4 hari mirchi, depends on how spicy you want the dish to be and sometimes also how spicy the green chilli is. The theory appears to be, I am not very sure, that if it is of a lighter green colour, it is less spicy. Tamarind, as I said I used a small lime sized tamarind soaked in water, dhania, some curry leaves, very little curry leaves, the tarka that I had already made. some hing, I am going to dry grind it without too much of water because the goa has some water in it. I pulse it. If you see that there is no paste, this is the consistency of the chutney that I would desire. Now, what I am doing is adding salt, to taste and I had left a little bit of the goa, 
I am now putting it into this one pulse again. and the chutney is ready. I have always believed that uh, you should not be wasting on the food. So, what I do is now Take very little water shake it well including the lid and pour this into the chutney. I will do one more tarka into this as a dressing for the chutney. Once the oil is heated, reduce the flame. First goes the urad dal, a bit of chana dal. rai, very little methi seeds, a piece or two of red chili, some curry leaves, some jeera, Add this to the chutney. The Goa chutney is ready. You can have it with bread, you can have it with roti, you can have it with rice, puri, any kind of bread. Uh, as I sign off, my request do try and let uh, me know how you liked it. Acknowledgements to uh, Dattu not only for being behind the camera, but helping me out with grating the goa, getting everything ready for me. Thank you also to Abhinav who will be editing this and posting it on the YouTube channel of LRC's Kitchen. Do watch, do respond and when I say do respond, I am also welcome to pause criticism so that to me it is a learning process. Thank you very much. Stay safe.